pillars are ultimately why corporate governance or why quality of corporate governance my personal understanding is that some people have been given maybe in some cases they have abrogated the privilege of managing the interests of large majority of people it is therefore important to assess whether these privileged people are managing in the best interest of everybody or not and for trying to find out the assessment of that one has to have some kind of base and those bases have been determined by the quality of observance of accounting standards by the kind and quality of disclosures <coughs> by the methodology or procedure followed for related party transactions and finally for what kind of boardroom practices are taking place maybe you or somebody else would like to define something else also as a pillar of the corporate governance but i consider these to be four pillars of the corporate governance and anything going wrong in any one of them certainly will have its toll on the quality of corporate governance